if you want to generate your ai images just like this don't worry i will teach you in this video and if you also don't know how to do code no worries i will show you step by step guide to make these kinds of images so let's go to my screen so you can see my screen first of all you have to click on start session button and then we will run all these cells you have to make sure that your session option gpu t4 x2 is selected which is accelerator given by kaggle it is free of cost we can use it so our session is started now we will run our first cell and we will clone the repository given by the local lab flux gym lab but we are going to use kaggle only so no worries and then we will run all these cells until our last cell and my all cells are running right now and when these will finish i will show you 12 seconds later so our python app.py cell is running right now and we are having two link local url and public url you have to click on public url local url will not work in our case and we will have this gradio interface uh, when this will start so our gradio interface is started first of all you have to name your lora so i will give any name like i can give it a custom name like i like u g h g v and i just gave this name i don't know why and our trigger word sentences so in this box you have to write a trigger word or sentence that will be written in starting of our prompt so that flux can understand we are referring to our lora model so we will write our trigger word so my name is supanpreet and i want to generate my picture so i will use here supan as my trigger word so that lora can understand when we we'll, uh, when i will write supan i am referring to the lora model which i have just given to it and i will also show you how you can use these lora models to generate images in last so watch till the last and make sure to subscribe now important part attention to all vram must be selected 16g so that we does not encounter error out of memory error and we uh, we will also decrease repeat train per images we will set it to 8 and max train epochs to i will set to 12 so these are settings and just here nothing we will leave it uh, as it is so now step 2 upload your data set i am having my 8 images which i clicked around 2 years back when i was in studio and you can upload any of your simple images uh, but your face must be clear so let me upload my some images so these are my 8 images which i am going to upload so my 8 pictures are uploaded and you can see all these pictures of mine i have clicked these in studio and you can use any images i was just having these so i used you can use simple your mobile phone click photos as well your selfies as well this is not necessary you have to go on to go studio and click these photos so no worries now you can have to click on add ai caption with sure is to button and this will automatically add your captions to your photos first of all it will download the florence 2 model from hugging face and then it will write all captions and you can see it has written caption you have to edit some of if you want like in my first image it has written her instead of his so i will edit this so i have edited my captions and i think all other captions are good so i will leave them as it is so step 3 training so we have to click on start training button but, but before that let me check all my settings 16g 8 12 and by these all our accepted training steps will be calculated so it can be different for you different from for me according to our data set so don't worry about that it will be calculated automatically by the model so click on start training button and this will start your training and it will take about 2 uh, to 3 hours in my case for training this 8 images it took around 4 hours 40 minutes to train so let us wait 2000 years later so when that training will be completed what you have to do is click on output kaggle working and then flux gym collab one more and then what you have to do is search for outputs and here you got outputs and here you will get your file 
when the training will be completed right now my training is not completed but uh, when it will be completed you will get a dot save tensor file here and like my model name is ufg like that and i will get in output folder dot save tensor file so you can see i got my save tensor file i downloaded it i downloaded it two times so that's why here one is written so don't worry and now let me show you how you can use this to generate images of your face so let's go now open the google collab link given in description so that we can use comfy ui to generate images from lora model which we just trained on kaggle you have to click on reconnect t4 or if t4 is not selected click on change runtime time and click on t4 gpu and save and click on connect after it will be connected we will run all these cells and then we will get a url for comfy ui and now it is connected to the server of google collab so if you are running it for first time you have to check all these options but if you are running for the second time or third time and you have checked use google drive first time you can uncheck these three three uh, three options and i have ran it before also so i am going to uncheck these three options but if you are running for the first time you have to check all these options and then just run this file and after that you will get the option to mount your google drive and then select your account which you want to be connected and then click on continue so now it will install all the libraries or dependencies which it want now we have to download resources we have to download flux one model we have to download encoder we have to download clip and ae va model which is uh, we have to download these all models and if you are running it for first time you have to run this cell and if you have already ran it before and you are using google drive you don't need to execute this cell so i am leaving it as it is and if you are using for first time you have to run this cell now i am going to run this third cell which is run comfy ui and then we will get a url to use our comfy ui so you can see we got our url to access comfy ui just click on this url and you will be redirected to our comfy ui so just click on this it will take around 30 seconds to load and then we can use our comfy ui to generate our images so our comfy ui has started and you will get some this kind of interface when it will be opened you will have a unsaved workflow and we have to use our own workflow we have to create our own workflow to save your time i have created workflow for you there is a lora flux to json file link in description download that file after downloading click on workflow upload and then select lora flux to json which you just downloaded from description and click on open and then here you got your lora flux to json here is a simple prompt supona young boy wearing turban while hatching from egg and holding a sign ai generated on moon so here supern is written instead of writing supern here you have to write your trigger word remember you, we used a trigger word in starting while training on flux gym you have to use your trigger word in starting then your uh, prompt after that so make sure to add your trigger word here i have added supern as my trigger word so after that here are some settings you can play with like steps dean voice i will prefer leave it as it is and width and height you can change as your need let's click on q and it will start a comfy ui first of all it will load flux model and unit va model dual clip loader and these after uploading uh, loading these all models it will start generating our image in this sample custom advanced node and you will get a progress bar also and in flux comfile lora collab notebook you can also see your progress and let us sleep for about two to three minutes for loading all the models and then it will start generating our image it may take about five minutes in your first run but after two or three times it will generate in one and a half minute your every image and now you can see our image is generated and it took about 290 seconds to generate our image which is okay for the first time and here you can see i am here a young little kid 
generated by a flux to show you how it generate our face images i have said it to generate a image of superman a young boy wearing turban shocked and crying so that you can see the difference between my original face and my ai generated face so let's start so you can see it has generated my image and over close look <laughs> but it's okay so it was our some images it took around 112 sec seconds to generate and let me show you some more images which i generated from this uh, earlier and let me show you that so this is a image i generated from this and then this a superna cartoonish boy sitting on a dolphin and then here a superna millennial i have said it to generate as i am a millennial and it generated like this this is cartoon images i gave it a prompt about superna cartoon and here you can see these two images This was a superna young boy as a millennial, and this was superna shocked. It is also generated by AI. I know you will not believe, but it is generated by AI. And then superna boy sitting inside a tent. It is also generated by AI. Superna titan. I generated superna young boy sitting on moon and uh, hatching from egg. These were two images. Superna running while holding a suitcase. These were some images I generated from. Flux Comfy UI Lora, which I trained right now, and you can see how well the results are. So this was for our today's video. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like for this amazing content, and also tell me on which topic do you want my next video. I will make definitely make video on that topic. Please write in comments, and if you have any error or any question, you can comment. I will reply you as soon as possible. So. Thanks a lot make sure to subscribe and bye